In this video, we are going to see Trend IO Bus Interface Connectors Technical Details Part 2. Welcome to Controls and Systems YouTube channel. Access to the IO Bus on the IQ4E controller is via a connecting point located on the right hand side of the unit. Each IQ4 IO module has a similar connecting point on both the left and right hand side, enabling the bus to be daisy chained between modules. Method 1 This method is used to connect the IQ4E controller with the IQ4 IO module. Required IO buses IQ4 IC link, fit rigid interconnector and IQ4 terminator. IO bus connection the IQ4 terminator is inserted at the end of the IQ4 I.O. module. IQ4 IC link fit rigid interconnector are inserted between the IQ4 E controller and IQ4 I.O. module. To switch on the IQ4 E controller power supply. Now the IQ4 I.O. module is communicating with the IQ4 E controller. Maximum number of modules. Up to 30 modules can be connected to the I.O. bus, depending on the configuration of controller and modules used, IQ4E controller is maximum communicate with 30 IQ4 I.O. modules only. Any combination using X-Site I.O. modules or an IQ3 X-Site controller is maximum 15 modules. Method 2 this method is used to connect the IQ4E controller with the IQ3X site IO module. Required IO buses, IQ4ICADPT, fit under connecting cables adapters, X site CC, plug in screw terminals, X site term, IQ3X site terminator. Wire connection. Now insert the IQ4IC cable adapter into the IQ4E controller. IQ4E controller cable adapter connection is, connect wire number 1 to the 24 volt DC terminal, connect wire number 2 to the high data terminal, connect wire number 3 to the ground terminal, connect wire number 4 to the low data terminal and finally connect wire number 5 to the 0 volt terminal. Now insert the X site CC plug in screw terminal to IQ3 X site IO module. After that to connect the wires from the IQ4E controller to the IQ3X site IO module. Wire number 1 is 24 volt DC supply that is connected to the 5th pin of the IQ3X site IO module. Wire number 2 is a high data that is connected to the 4th pin. Wire number 3 is a ground that is connected to the 3rd pin. Wire number 4 is a low data that is connected to the 2nd pin. Wire number 5 is a 0 volt DC that is connected to the first pin of the IQ3X site IO module. To switch on the IQ4E controller power supply. Now IQ3X site IO module is communicating with the IQ4E controller. A 24 volt DC supply is flowing between pin 5 and pin 1. Method 3. This method is to interface the IQ3X site IO module followed by the IQ4 IO module, to the IQ4E controller. Required IO buses, IQ4 IC link, fit rigid interconnector, IQ4 IC ADPT, fit interconnecting cables adapters, X site CC, plug in screw terminals and X site term, IQ3 X site terminator. Interface connection. First, Interconnect the IQ4E controller and IQ4 IO module with a fit rigid interconnector. Second, insert the fit interconnecting cables adapter into the IQ4 IO module. Third, insert the X site CC plug in screw terminal connector into the IQ3 X site IO module. Wire connection. IQ4 IO module cable adapter connection is. Connect wire number 1 to the 24 volt DC terminal, connect wire number 2 to the high data terminal, connect wire number 3 to the ground terminal, connect wire number 4 to the low data terminal and finally connect wire number 5 to the 0 volt terminal. Now connect the wires from the IQ4IO module to the IQ3X site IO module. 
Wire number 1 is 24 volt DC supply that is connected to the fifth pin of the IQ3X site IO module. Wire number 2 is a high data that is connected to the fourth pin. Wire number 3 is a ground that is connected to the third pin. Wire number 4 is a low data that is connected to the second pin. Wire number 5 is a 0 volt DC that is connected to the first pin of the IQ3X site IO module. To switch on the IQ4E controller power supply. The IQ4 IO module and the IQ3X site IO module are communicating with the IQ4E controller. Well, I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching our videos. Keep supporting our YouTube channel and have a great day.